besides alarming new numbers by the American Cancer Society, a new study shows colorectal cancer increasing in the last 50 years for people under 50. But colonoscopy screenings are primarily for those over the age of 50. RTV6's Lauren Casey introduces us to one young family who faced the surprising diagnosis head on. Bathtub? Yes, I'll go in your bathtub. <laughs> Buckbreed Love is playing pretend with his parents at the IU Simon okay. Cancer Center. But his family has been dealing with real struggles these past years. Just days after learning they were pregnant with their son, they learned Tom had testicular cancer. Getting diagnosed with something like cancer right after you're told you're going to be a father was devastating to me and my biggest fear was that I wasn't going to live to see my son. But the idea of meeting his son pulled him through and just five weeks after his final treatment, yes. Buck was born. But the joy of Tom's recovery was soon overshadowed by another tough diagnosis. Carmen is a great inspiration to all of us. Dr. Paul Helft is an oncologist at IU Health and also Carmen's doctor. So when I first met her, um, she had a very complex uh, diagnosis. And he said even when I carried Buck, I had stage four. Stage four colon cancer that had already spread to her liver. Just a week after I got the two-year clear. That was completely blindsiding. And I just feel like we were meant to be together um, to go through this. Carmen has endured a number of surgeries, several rounds of chemotherapy, and proton therapy. I mean, a cancer diagnosis is, you know, shocking and troubling to every single patient that gets a new diagnosis. Well, but of course, young people uh, never expect to get cancer. Colorectal cancers are fairly common, although the average age of a person diagnosed is 70 years old. Doctors estimate that Carmen has had this cancer since the age of 33. But today, Carmen, Tom, and Buck have something to celebrate. I was relieved. I mean, I just felt like, oh my gosh. Today, Carmen's scans are clear and the Breed Loves are cancer free once again. So we can get through this and just start like a normal life. And now they're sharing their story to give others hope. Lauren Casey, RTV6. And that is the moment the entire family has been waiting for. Carmen, with family by her side, rang the bell today at the Simon Cancer Center to signify her last transfusion treatment. And tonight, we're working for you with more information on colon health. Dr. Health tells us that do not panic. Cancer symptoms are more long-term. If you do notice continued abdominal pain or abnormalities with your health, tell your doctor immediately. A colonoscopy is the preferred screening method. You should start getting those at age 50. Unless you have a family history or symptoms, then you may need to start sooner. Right now, experts don't know why more young people are getting this form of cancer.